everyone. In this video, we are going to solve another problem based on Newton's third law of motion. So here is the problem which reads, a disc of mass 20 grams is kept floating horizontally by throwing 10 marbles per second against it from below. If the mass of each marble is 10 grams, calculate the velocity with which the marbles are striking the disc. The marbles strike the disc normally and rebound rebound downward with the same speed. So in this problem there is a disc which is horizontally placed and this disc is not moving downwards but it is maintained in its own position uh, and this is done by throwing marbles onto it from below. So the marbles strike this disc from below and then they, they get returned in the same direction or in the same path with the same velocity. Now this helps the marble or this helps the disc to be in its own horizontal place. And uh, we are supposed to find out what is the velocity with which the marbles are being thrown to the disc. So first of all let us list out whatever is given in the question. That is the mass of the disc is given to be 20 grams which is 0.02 kilograms. Mass of each marble is given to be 10 grams which equals 0.01 kilograms. The number of marbles thrown per second is given to be 10 marbles. Let the velocity of impact of each marble be small v. We will be taking the velocity with which the marbles are being fired or thrown to be small v. Now it is given that the marbles rebound normally that is in the downward direction with the same velocity in the question. So the change in momentum of each marble is given by m into v minus of minus m into v. Since the marbles move in the opposite direction while returning back, we have taken this velocity while returning back to be negative and that is the reason why the momentum has become negative in this case. That is the final momentum is minus mv and the initial momentum is mv. So the total momentum of the uh, I mean the change in momentum of the marble each marble is mv minus of minus mv which gives 2 mv. So the total change in momentum for one marble is 2 into m into v. Now thus uh, now the change in momentum per second now in one second there are 10 marbles which are thrown onto the disc from the downward direction and therefore the change in momentum per second will be equal to the number of marbles thrown per second multiplied by the total change in momentum for one marble. So the change in momentum per second becomes 20 m into v since the number of marbles thrown per second is 10 we get the total change in momentum of 10 bullets or, or sorry 10 marbles to be 20, 20 mv. So here we have the change in momentum per second equals to the force exerted. So we know that the change in momentum per unit time is equal to the force. So here in this case this would essentially equal to the total force that the marbles exert onto the disc in the upward direction. Now this force that the marbles exert towards the uh, disc balance the weight of the disc. Uh, this force balances the weight of the disc and the disc uh, stays in the same horizontal position. Now the force that the 10 marbles exert we have found it to be 20 m into v and according to the third law of motion this force exerted by the marbles must be equal in magnitude to the weight of the disc in order for the disc to keep floating horizontally in the same position. So basically this 20 m into v must be equal to the weight of the disc which is given by the mass of the disc multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity which is this 0.02 into 9.8. So this turns out to be 20 into 0.01 which is the uh, mass of each marble multiplied by v which is the velocity of each marble equals 0.02 multiplied by 9.8. 
So from this expression, we can easily figure out what is the value of V in this manner. That is V equals 0.02 multiplied by 9.8 divided by 20 multiplied by 0.01. Now this turns out to be V equals 0.98 meters per second. So the velocity of each marble with which it was thrown and, which, and with which it moves downwards is 0.98 meters per second. So this brings us to the end of this video and I hope the solution was fully understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.